Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to cover Indira Gandhi Medical College, Puducherry, particularly the NRA quota admission. So we are going to look at the fee structure for NRA quota. We are going to look at the number of seats available. And we are also going to look at the cutoff marks and why it is so low. We are also going to look at the admission procedure and where you have to submit the application. Do you need to submit one application or two applications? All these details I'm going to cover in this video. Just stay with me until the end of this video so that you can get full details of this college. Let me start with a disclaimer. All the details in this video are based on 2019 admission. So I advise candidates to refer to the 2020 prospectus once it becomes available. Right now it is not available. So once it is available, so you have to refer to the 2020 prospectus. Until then, you can use this video and the details in 2019 prospectus as a guideline for your planning. Now let's go into the video. Let's look at Indira Gandhi Medical College and Research Institute. It is a government institution. Take note, it's not a private college. It's a government institution that comes under government of Puducherry. This video is actually based on an information from one of the candidates who is currently studying in Indira Gandhi Medical College. So he gave me some information and he asked me to do the video so that candidates can be aware about NRA quota in Indira Gandhi Medical College. So when I asked him how the college is, I asked for him for the feedback. This is what he told me. It's a very good college with experienced staff, very good patient flow in hospital, situated in the heart of the city, and far better hostel facilities than many common and private colleges. So he is having an excellent feedback. The location, the college is located at a place called Kadir Kamam in Puducherry. And Indira Gandhi Medical College is affiliated to Pondicherry University. Of course, Pondicherry and Puducherry are interchangeably used. Number of seats, we have 180 seats in this college. Of course, until last year, they had 150 seats, but when this economically weaker section was introduced, the number of seats has been increased from 150 to 180 seats. So right now they have about 131 seats for the state quota, including the economically weaker section. They have about 27 seats for all India quota and they have 22 seats under NRA quota. Okay, these 22 seats actually is based on 15 percentage. Okay, 15 percentage of 150 seats. That's how they calculated 22 seats. But when the seats has been increased from 150 to 180, uh, the NRA quota has not been increased. So I'm not sure whether they are going to stick to these 22 seats or they are going to recalculate the 15 percent number, right? The 22 seats is approximately about 12 percentage. When you calculate 15 percentage for 180 seats, it comes to about 27 seats. So I'm not sure whether they are going to stick to 22 or they are going to increase to 27 in this year. But you, you can be assured that the minimum is 22 and probably the maximum is 27. So that's the range we are looking at. Now let's look at the college fees. So there is an application fee which is 200 US dollars. And the admission fees or in fact the tuition fees, the college fees, whatever you call it, is 100,000 US dollars. That's approximately about 75 lakhs as of today's conversion rate. So this is a one-time payment for the entire course. This is not a yearly fees. This is an entire course fees. You need to pay it one time. At the time of admission, you have to pay 1 lakh US dollars. In addition, you have to pay a caution deposit of 15,000 US dollars. Plus, if you are taking hostel, there is a hostel caution deposit of 15,000 US dollars. So the refundable deposit itself is 30,000 US dollars. It's quite high. So totally at the time of admission, you have to pay more than about 130,000 US dollars. 
that if you work out in today's conversion, it comes close to about one crore rupees. So probably this is one reason why the cutoff marks are quite low in this college. Because if you are taking either a private college or a deemed university, you have an option to pay the entire course fees over uh, four years or five years in four installments or five installments. Whereas here you are paying everything in one installment. But however, you need to take note that the fee is almost like half of what normally the deemed universities are charging. The deemed universities charge somewhere around 45,000 to 50,000 US dollars per year. So that comes to close to about 200,000 US dollars for the entire course or slightly more than that. So it's almost 50% of what deemed universities are charging. So look at this, see whether you can afford this, whether you can get the money at one time, one time payment. So this is a good, good option. You have an admission under government college, right? That's a great advantage you are getting. This is the application you have to submit um, or the college will be um, uploading this application for you to fill. So this application is specifically for NRI candidates or NRI sponsored candidates or OCI candidates, that is OOC citizens of India. All these three categories will be competing for the NRI quota seats, right? NRI, it, it could be either an NRI candidate or an NRI sponsored candidate or an OCI candidate. So this application you need to fill and submit it. Where can you find this application? You can download this application from the website of Indira Gandhi Medical College that is igmcri.com. But of course it's not available right now. You have to wait until the notification from Indira Gandhi Medical College. Most likely they will give a notification probably after the NEET exam. So you wait for it, monitor it, and then once the notification comes, submit this application. Now, what are the documents you need to submit? You need to submit your NEET results. You need to submit your uh, plus two mark sheet or higher secondary mark sheet, birth certificate, copy of passport and visa for NRA candidates or OCA candidates, proof of NRA status of student or sponsor, Numerical grade certificate of the qualifying examination, the equivalent certification if it is necessary. Reason passport size color photograph, two numbers of the candidate. One number color for postcard size photograph of the sponsor. And then the certificate showing the proof for blood relationship for NRI sponsored candidates. So if you are sponsored by somebody, you should have a blood relationship with the sponsor. So either the sponsor could be your father, mother, brother, sister, your first cousins. They could be your aunts, uncles, that is your brothers and sisters of your father or mother. Look at the exact requirement and then see whether you have a blood relationship with the sponsor. And then you also have to submit an undertaking by the parent or guardian you need to submit an undertaking by the sponsor. Okay, once you fill this application, once you fill all these undertaking, where should you submit the application? Okay, should you submit the application to the college? No, you are not sending the application to the college. You should send the application to the convener, Sentac Puducherry. Now, what is this Sentac? CENTAC stands for Centralized Admission Committee of Government of Puducherry. So this is the admission authority that is responsible for conducting admission for Puducherry colleges. That is the government colleges and private self-financing colleges. Of course, the admission for JIPMER is expected to be done by Directorate General of Health Services, that is the Medical Counseling Committee, and also the deemed universities, the admission will be happening under the Medical Counseling Committee that comes under Directorate General of Health Services, which comes under the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Now, is it sufficient if you just submit this application to CENTAC? No, it's not just sufficient. You still have to register with CENTAC 
and participate in the online counseling. So if you are an NRA candidate or if you are applying for NRA quota, you have to do two steps. One, you have to submit the application hard copy to Centac, and then you also have to do the online registration. Two steps are necessary. If you are a local resident and if you are not applying for NRA quota, if you are applying for other kind of seats, management quota seats or government quota seats, then you have to just register with Centac. There, there is no application for you separately. Now let's look at the cutoff marks. I told you the cutoff marks are very low. Let's see what exactly is the marks. In 2017, the cutoff was just 133 marks. Very low, extremely low. 2018, not much different. The cutoff was 153 marks. And even in 2019, when almost every cutoff across the country has gone up, this category is just 155 marks. So why the cutoff is so low? Probably one of the reasons, as I told you earlier also, uh, you need to pay almost like $130,000 at one time, which is coming to about one crore rupees. So probably most of the candidates might find it very difficult to make the payment. That's why probably the cutoff is very low in this college. But if you can afford this kind of fees, then probably you should give it a try because this is a government college and um, the fee structure is almost half. The total fee structure, if you look at, it's almost coming to about a half. Um, the seven, you are only paying 75 lakhs as a, a fees. The, 30, the other 25 lakhs is only a refundable deposit. You will get it back. But if you go to your deemed university, normally the fee structure may be somewhere around 1.25 crores to 1.5 crores easily you might be paying around that, right? So if you look at the total fee structure, this is a good college, but just looking at a one-time payment upfront, probably that's the drawback, okay? But anyway, I leave it to you. I have given you the information. You decide which college is better for you, whether you can afford this, then go for it. I hope this video is useful to you. If you like this video and you have not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And also you might find the other videos displayed on the screen very interesting to you. So thank you very much. See you soon in some other video.